Hi, and welcome to a Cult of Mac app review brought to you by Tech Bytes with Jay Smith. When posting a picture to Instagram, there's nothing more irritating than when you can't fit the whole picture in. But luckily, the app InstaSize claims to have a solution to this problem, and so much more. And today, we're giving the app an inside look, so stay tuned to check it out. Don't deal with the hassle any longer. Get your pictures how you want, thanks to InstaSize. With great features and easy steps, getting your pictures perfect is simple. I've been there, trust me. You take the perfect picture and then it won't fit on Instagram and other sites. Well, with InstaSize, take your photo in the app or pick from your camera roll and scale it exactly how you want within the square. Now this app comes stocked with other features too, like stitching other photos for a cool collage and even the ability to add colored borders with even various patterns. No matter who you are, there's something to meet your taste and that's pretty nice. And with cool layer options, you can add text, overlays with in-app purchase, and even add a filter over your photos. It's like the developers took everything you love from all your photo apps and added them into one place, InstaSize. And once your photo is exactly how you'd like, just tap to share, where you can save the photo to your camera roll and share it on other networks as well. There are tons of great options, tons of possibilities with InstaSize, overall earning a full 5 out of 5 stars. While the app ultimately meets the purpose of fitting your full pictures into one frame, it also gives users the ability to do so much more. InstaSize quickly becomes the quick and functional photo editor, making it so that you can have the photos you want anytime. InstaSize is available on app stores for all iOS and Android devices for absolutely free. And until next time, feel free to comment or tweet at us what you think about the app. And don't forget to subscribe to see more awesome reviews in the future. This has been Joshua Smith, and I'll catch you later.